This is the St. Matthew training video on the file structure on the server. So I've logged into the server and this is the my computer directory. The C drive is just the, the server operating system and programs needed to run on the server. The D drive is a shared drive. We'll open that up. And this has the folders for the different software that we install on the different computers and has um, like for example office we can install office then over the network instead of downloading it each time same with shepherd staff and then there's all the mac programs in the mac folder that i've used for downloading and installing this D drive is shared as okay the data drive is shared as install underscore files dollar sign the reason why we use the dollar sign is to keep it hidden from the network okay in the E drive we have uh, three major folders church school and user files and the the church and school are shared as church and school. There's no dollar signs. Uh, user files is where the users have their personal files. In the tr in the school directory, which we don't is just basically for archiving work, but there's all the um, different file folders and files in the school directory. Church directory is structured. So that we have an office folder for the general office, main office, files. Shepherd Staff database has its own directory and it's shared. Um, there's a temp file that is shared so that we can, uh, the users can send documents back and forth and put them on the temp drive. And then each area of ministry has a folder like adult discipleship, member care, mission outreach, property, treasurer, worship, youth discipleship. Governance has to do with the policies which are under the overseers. Now that here's the old policies and the old CCE um, documents but under the overseers now since the overseers set the policies there's the policies. Um, there's all of our meeting minutes and all of our membership records are in there dealing with attendance under um, governance we also have congregational meetings community meeting notes leadership team meeting documents and official minutes training that we provided the leadership team information and documentation from living hope when they we're a counsel, uh, consultants to St. Matthew. Operational planning documents, um, staff job description documents, structure documents. Structure is the Constitution and the bylaws and CCCE coordinator and job description documents, the leadership manual. Um, so that's all under structure. Vision, that all has to do with the uh, vision documentations and the processes and the notes as we've developed vision. The current vision folder right now is vision it. That's the most recent uh, folder with the most recent documents that we've been working with. We go back um, under treasure and finance what's important is you got some archival each fiscal year has an archive and then different projects have different file folders. important one here is QuickBooks. The QuickBooks folder contains the current QuickBooks files and everything that QuickBooks needs and then the QuickBooks backup folder has all the backups when QuickBooks generates a backup it saves it there so it doesn't save it to the same place. Under property we have um, information about the duplex, the church lighting system and all the different areas. Under Deacon is 
the process and procedures that we've developed for the monthly review, the quarterly review, the work order request forms, the supply order request forms, and all the procedures that's all documented underneath the Deacon tab. Sites, buildings, and grounds that gives you information on the um, site plans and maps. Uh, when we were working on the most recent vision, um, new ideas that we had and all the different options, those are all documented here and saved in under sites, buildings, and grounds. Um, police reports we've got in here for when we've had those, and that's reserved. This is the KYC, is the Krause Youth Center Remodeling Project. This has to do with keys and um, the the databases and maps and stuff that I have for the, the managing and maintaining the key system for the doors and locks. This is everything to do with insurance. Here's everything to do with the, when the Hope Center was with us. Here's everything to do with when, with Head Start documentations. Uh, so all kinds of fun stuff under property. And then each area of ministry will have their own file structure. Uh, the most commonly used one is going to be worship. And under AV, here's all the AV manuals in here. Um, everything from Northern Sound when we first installed the system information on pro presenter and one license and and so we got all kinds of fun things in here uh, the bulletin folder is in here where we build all of our bulletins and store them Christian worship is in here the supplement is in here lots of resources and that would be true for the other areas of ministry as well they get to structure their own file structure their own way all of the pictures are on the iMac in the AV booth. There's nothing listed here for pictures. Under the office folder, since we're talking about pictures, there is the official a copy of the official logo folder. So that has um, our current logo and the previous church and school logos, FEL official logos, Wells official logos, the underground official logos. So that are all is available on the server in case we need that for documentations that we do. This is the file folder for CCB, the new church database program that we're working on, and that has all the documentation that CCB gave us. Um, here's everything with the parish tidings each year, and then under each year we go by month. So all the documentation that it took to create a parish tidings newsletter are in those folders. Um, Sue Stillman has a good handle on what's in, in a lot of these. Well, we're backing up to church and then back up to E and then back up to the server. The G drive on the server is the external USB hard drive used for backups. So that pretty much summarizes the whole file structure system on St. Matthew's server.